What's going on, everybody? It's Sasha, your licensed real estate market expert here in Charlotte. And Charlotte Stories recently came out with an article about a thousand square foot house selling at just under 525,000. And people are absolutely losing their minds. It is being reposted on, you know, realtor groups, real estate investment groups, and just in general, all over kind of Facebook as far as it pertains to the Charlotte area. And some of these comments that are going on is, is absolutely hilarious. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and link the article in the description so you guys can kind of check it out and then feel free to look it up on Charlotte Stories and go ahead and in the comments. Very interesting comments and um, if I personally didn't know any better, if I personally wasn't in the real estate space and I know so much about these areas, I would be shocked too. When you're looking at it on face value, wow, a house that was built in the 1950s, a thousand square feet is going for 525,000. I'm not sure what, you know, the person that wrote this article had in mind. Maybe they're house shopping and they're trying to live in this area and they saw this house and they were completely outraged by the price, but I wanted to talk to you about this house in particular and talk about the article here a little bit and just let you know why it's priced so high. And if I'm giving my honest opinion, 525 I think is a little bit on the higher side. I think it should be under five, potentially even 450, but obviously that's up for other people to do their due diligence as far as the comparable sales and everything like that go. So this past Monday, I was showing some clients from New York, townhouses and condos, and we were driving around the Myers Parks, around the Sedge Fields where this house is actually located. And they were like, hey, these houses are really charming. You know, they're cute and charming. And I told them, don't let that fool you. In these areas, houses that are teardowns are going for four hundred to seven hundred thousand dollars based off the lot size and based off where they are located on the street. So this is nothing new to me, but let's go ahead and hop into this article real quick. It's a really small article. I just want to read this to you. Attention millennial home buyers. Do you dream of owning a piece of the Charlotte charm? Well, dream no further because for just under 530,000, this three bedroom, one bathroom ranch could be yours. That's right, for a little more than half a million dollars, you can own a starter home that boasts a whopping thousand square feet of living space and indoor plumbing. Let's not sugarcoat it, folks. This isn't exactly a mansion, but hey, at least it was built in 1951. In 25 years, it'll be considered an antique. And with its convenient location in the ever so trendy Sedgefield neighborhood, you'll be the envy of all your friends who can still afford to live in Charlotte, that is. But wait, there's more. The Fixer Upper also boasts 0.17 acres of land, plenty of space for you to park your smart car and maybe even plant a small patch of kale to keep up with the latest trends. This article has a lot of sarcasm in it and some people are taking it a little too literal, but let's talk about why this house is this expensive and why this potentially isn't a bad deal if you can get it under the listed price, which I think a lot of investors potentially have these cash offers and they're gonna be building a little McMansion on that lot should somebody buy it. So here we are, this is actually the house in question and funny enough, one of my investor clients emailed me the article and said, what do you think? I thought, you know, it might be something that you might be interested in, but eh, you'd have to build. You know, his thought was maybe fix it up, Airbnb it out for a little bit, and then in the future sell it and or develop it themselves. But this will give you a little bit of a better idea of what we're kind of looking at. So you can easily see, once you come see the neighborhood, why, you know, it warrants those prices. Now you do have similar homes like this, but I mean, look at all the neighbor's houses over here. All new construction. Some of the ones I mentioned in the cops, comps, but you know, obviously this whole area was all filled with these small cottage style homes. And now, I mean, they've just redeveloped everything with these houses here, ranging, you know, 1.2, 1.4, all the way up to $3 million. So the value is definitely here in the land and it is no problem building something like the neighbors kind of on this lot right here. One of the comps that I mentioned, 
and this is right around the corner this entire street over here has been completely developed you can kind of see the cranes going on over there and south end and everything is just within walking distance and then of course you have the houses like the one we just looked at and this sandwiched in between stunning homes so let's talk about sedgefield sedgefield is located right outside of uptown charlotte right outside of south end close to dilworth close to myers park so in hindsight you're close to everything dilworth is one of those neighborhoods that has extreme walkability this house in particular if you were working in the south end area if you were working in the uptown area and you didn't want to own a car you don't have to you can walk, you can take the light rail, you can hop on one of those little electric scooters, and you can get there in due time. Hence, one of the reasons in regards to price. Now let's talk about Sedgefield. It was voted the 41st best neighborhood to live in Charlotte. I definitely think it's higher up there on the list, but who knows how Niche.com gets these rankings. The overall grade for Sedgefield is an A. Public schools, A-, minus. housing is a C. I'm assuming this is due to the unaffordability for a lot of people hence this house selling for under 525 a for good for families a plus for nightlife you have everything you want there and especially young professionals this is an area that a lot of young professionals are flocking to if they can afford to live in this house so sedgefield was ranked the eighth best neighborhood for young professionals out of 152 other neighborhoods the 41st best neighborhood to live in Charlotte and 44th best neighborhood to raise a family. You can see there's a big discrepancy between the young professionals and the two other categories because this is a very vibrant neighborhood and a lot of younger people want to live here. As far as the other stats go, I think it's great for both. As far as raising families, it's a little bit on the busier side. If you're somebody that's used to that busyness, if you're moving here from DC or something like that, you would definitely enjoy Sedgefield. Me personally, raising a family, I'd want to be a little bit further away from the South End area, from the nightlife, just because I want my peace and quiet. Now let's hop into the stats so we can get a better understanding of why a thousand square foot house is priced at 525,000. And to be clear, this is 90% going to be a teardown and or a potential investor that wants to put fifty, seventy-five thousand dollars $75,000 into it rent it out as an Airbnb, and then sell it in the future for a potential profit and or develop it themselves. So the median price point in Sedgefield for a single family home is 1,015,000. The average price point for a single family home is $1,130,000. Now let's take a look at some of the comps that we have here in the area these are all houses that are within a quarter mile of this house and literally just around the block i'll show you the map here in a second you have 308 dover avenue listed at just under two million dollars and if you take a look it's located on a quarter acre lot as opposed to the one we're talking about that's situated on a 0.17 acre lot so just under a fifth here you have a second comp 544 melbourne listed at 1.92 million, that is located on a 0.18 acre lot, 0.1 difference in the lot size. Third one is also located on Melbourne, just under 1.8 million, located on a 0.22 acre lot. Then you have Dexter Street, located on a third of an acre at 1.75 million. This is a 2B built house, so it's definitely gonna be a little bit different. Then you have one on Anson Street, which is literally six to eight houses away from this house that we're talking about, listed at 1.4 million on a 0.20 acre lot. And here we go, the knight in shining armor. And you guys can even see in the description, the home slash lot is being sold as is. If you're ready to build, this is one of the premier locations in Charlotte. And it just went over so many people heads and I totally get it if I wasn't in the position that I'm in if I didn't know these neighborhoods like I know these neighborhoods I would be outraged seeing something like this but according to the data according to the stats if you can get this house at a reasonable price and you end up building a really nice home at 250 300 a square foot you build a 2,000 a 2,500 square foot home there's a lot of value 
in this lot. These prices are crushing the younger people. If you're 35 and under, it is crushing a lot of people's dreams because these neighborhoods are so desirable. They have stuff that so many people want and what so many people look for. When you see something like this, you definitely get discouraged. I just wanted to make a quick video about this house, show you the reason behind the pricing and showing you the actual value. If you're looking in some of these areas, Sedgefield, Dilworth, Myers Park, Cherry, this is what you should expect. As mentioned, depending on location, the lot size, you're looking at teardowns from four to $700,000 and the houses that will be built on these houses will be anywhere from 1.4 million up to however extravagant the builder wants to go. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I hope you enjoyed this little fun video. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, bye.